Good evening, 47. Your target is Sully the Crusher Bowden, a former middleweight champion. Known for his short temper and sudden bouts of rage, he has always been a ticking time bomb. Unpredictable and unruly in the ring, he finally crossed the line when he killed an opponent during a match. He showed no signs of remorse and was found guilty of first-degree manslaughter. However, he managed to flee the country and has since been on the run, making a living setting up illegal fight matches that are closer to death matches. Bowden has a lot of blood on his hands. The grieving family of the victim have reached out to us for closure. And after an extensive search, we've tracked him down in Chongqing. They want to have done to him what was done to their son. An eye for an eye, 47. Good luck. Yo, what's up guys, my name is Mr. Freeze 2244 welcome to the Rage Gear 2 Elusive Target. In this video, I'll be showing you three more methods. Earlier in the year, I already showed you three methods, but in this video, I'll be showing you three different methods on top of that as well. So, it's a completely brand new video. If you want to see the original methods, I'll leave it in the description for that video. For this one, we're going to start off with a default loadout method, and obviously we're going to start at the train station. This is for the people that don't have any equipment, and they're using the default loadout. Uh, but the default start location at the train station and all that kind of stuff so if you're brand new to the game this particular method is for you the second method i'll be uh, be using a micro taser the third method i'll be doing a silent assassin suit only with fiber wire as well so look more of a traditional style of a kill so for method one uh, we started at the train station right here and we are going to head straight to where sully bowden is so he's going to be doing a bit of sparring outside of the block uh, building so it's just a matter of running all, all the way there there's a little a long way when you're starting at the train station so if you do have another star location closer to the low uh, to where Sully Bowden is I highly recommend it however the timings of this might be a little bit different because of how where I started and stuff like that because it does take about a minute to get there overall I was going to include a sniper assassin method but it was just a matter of just waiting around with a sniper rival so it didn't really feel that entertaining so I kind of left that out. So once we're over here in this location, we're going to pull out your coin. And you come up to these little trolleys, press your body against the trolley, and then throw the coin about as far as you can, really. That's going to get the two guards to turn around. That gives you enough time to climb this pipe and get through this window. Once you're up through this window, we're going to uh, sneak past this woman right here, climb over the wall, and slide down the pipe. Once you've slid down the pipe, right behind you there's going to be a car battery. Go ahead and grab that. And then climb out the window and knock out the guard. Grab his gun that he drops on the floor, if you like. And then drag his body and put him in the nearby crate. Go ahead and put his disguise on if you'd like, to make things a little bit more easy for you. However, you can carry on doing this in your suit if you can, if you want to. Grab the battery again, and you want to kind of place this battery on the outside edge on the right uh, rather than the central area like this but uh, just in case the door knocks the battery farther away then what you want to do is go ahead and shoot that battery when the target is just uh, when the top just before the target exits this door like this and that's going to electrocute that puddle and it's going to electrocute the target and it's going to be an accident kill for you so what we basically did there is to set a trap it'll electrify the puddle and the target walked over that puddle and electrified him but that will get you an easier silent assassin. But uh, you want to make sure you put the, the battery on the right side edge, really. For the second method, I'm going to go for the micro taser. So this is the quickest method out of all three. So I'm going to start as the block guard. And I'm going to bring along a seeker one, a coin, and the remote micro taser. So you unlock this from, I believe, Berlin. I could be wrong. But uh, yeah, it is a very powerful tool. Don't use any of the tasers though, because it is an illegal item that other enemies can see. So that's why I use the micro taser. So from the very start, we exited the blend spot and we came down these stairs and shot that guard on the right just to remove his uh, enforcer status AI. And then we come down these stairs right here, past this enforcer in the room, stay to the right so she doesn't spot you. Come over to this wall, swap shoulders as you aim and shoot this guard who's an enforcer in front of us. And then what we're going to do is uh, drop a coin and then bump into Sully Bowden just to get him to see the coin on the floor. And then we're going to drop the micro taser out of our inventory. So the idea is we want Sully to see the coin in that puddle 
and then we've, we've electrified the puddle with the micro taser and it's a quick easy electrocution accident kill for the target so that's one of the fastest ways to actually take out the target and the exit is just right here as well so if you want a quick and easy way of doing it to, just to get out of the way that's how you do it silent assassin for method three we're going to go with silent assassin suit only with the fiber wire we're going to start on the riverside walkway bring along a seeker one and of course the fiber wire and coin so overall this method is actually really easy as well despite it being a silent assassin suit only and fiber wire only as well um but i think this lucid target overall is relatively straightforward if you've got the right equipment you know exactly what you're doing but of course anything's easy when you know what you're doing of course but uh, when you've got the seeker one anything is possible and if you haven't got it i highly recommend unlocking it you get it from haven island so if you haven't got the gold edition of hitman 2 access pass i highly recommend buying it just to get this item and they made it gas device, they're very powerful tools. So when we first come over here, we're going to grab, take out a coin and throw it right behind these two guards. And both of them should turn around. And that gives us an opportunity to climb this pipe and through the window. So we're going to go past this woman right here, jump over the wall and slide down the pipe. We need to be doing this relatively quickly, head down these stairs, take out our seeker. Swap shoulders as we aim, and then we want to take it, just shoot out the target. Make sure you only hit him. And he is going to go to a puking spot, and it's going to be outside just out here. We're going to let this guard go past, and then we're going to knock him out. So that bin to your left that you just saw there with a the yellow lid, that is where Sully Bowden is going to come to be uh, sick. So we need to quickly hide this body. We're going to leave that pistol on the floor and retrieve the coin if he picked it up earlier. So the only thing that's on the floor here is the gun. If you'd like, you could leave the gun a little bit further down the street down there, but uh, you don't want to risk getting spotted, really. That's why I chose to just leave the gun here, just in case your timing was a little bit different. So what's going to happen here? Sully is going to be puking up in the bin to the left. The guard is going to see this weapon. He's going to take it away. Just need to be relatively quick when you hide the body, though, because just behind that window is where the crate is, is where the guard takes the gun. So you need to be relatively quick with this kill if you want to do the fiber wire method. If you don't want to risk it, you may as well just use a syringe if you don't want to do a fiber wire. But if you are using a fiber, we have to make sure you do it relatively quickly and dump them in the, uh, the crate there pretty quick. Otherwise, you might get seen through the window. So if you want to take that risk away, you can just go ahead and use a syringe. But once you've done that, head straight to the exit right here. And it's an easy silent assassin. So that's three methods in under eight minutes. Really quick, really easy. I tried to do the, the quick skip exit here, because, but uh, the prompt is very specific. And without the prompt, I can't. It doesn't work. So I <laughs> have to just use the manual method. So, yeah, silent assassin. Three different methods to my original video that I did a few months back. Again, I'll leave a link to that video if you want to go see that. Uh, I'll leave a link to that in the description. All three methods are still viable includes a poison kill as well so you can go ahead and check that out if you'd like but uh, this is three different methods for the rage this is for year two and uh, there we go that's how you get silent assassin for three methods so thank you very much for watching feel free to drop a like on the video if it helped you out or if you generally gen gen generally just enjoyed it drop a like as well subscribe if you are new to the channel and hit the bell notification to be notified of all the future videos and live streams consider supporting me on patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description for all the details big shout out to paul at home bed read mark davis constantine Mueller, wondering wendy and andrew phillips becoming top tier psycho assassin members i really do appreciate the support thank you very much for watching i will see you in the next video cheers